The sweet smell of summer is in the air, and in Billings today, it smells like strawberries. The 31st annual Strawberry Festival is downtown today, and that's where we find MTN's David J. The giant strawberry shortcake has not been part of the celebration since 2020 because of COVID. But the Strawberry Festival brought out its largest number of vendors ever, 125. Crowds packed the sidewalks and street, and what for many has been a Billings tradition. It's got love in it. I learned that from my mother. She always cooked it up. The Heights Lions Club has served a pancake breakfast for about a quarter century at the Strawberry Festival. It entails a lot of work on this project, and we enjoy every minute of it. Scott Dornfeld, Lions Club District Governor, says this is the Heights Lions Club's largest fundraiser, which goes to its projects and also to help other organizations. Montana Rescue Mission, the uh, Boys and Girls Clubs, you know, Ronald McDonald House, we're, we're involved in doing fundraisers for them too. The number of vendors increased from about 100 in past years to 125 this year. This year it is the largest street festival we've ever had. And they always set up in the middle of the street to make it easier to get to the businesses. The middle of the street allows for all the festival visitors to walk with the shops. And the shops aren't back alleys, they're actually part of the festival. Lindsay Richardson, Community Engagement and Events Director for the Downtown Billings Alliance, says the mission for her organization is to enhance businesses. Keep the vitality of downtown going. And those businesses see more customers during the Strawberry Festival. It's a good atmosphere all the time, but it's it's more kind of like a party. Montana vintage clothing owner Sherry Daly sells clothes going back to the 1980s and even to the 1800s and says some will come back to try on clothes when they have more time. I'm just glad that we have this downtown and I'm glad that people are so receptive to it and I'm hoping they all are having a good time. We want downtown as a neighborhood to be a place that is more and more a destination uh, for all like visitors and the community. In Billings, David J, MTN News.